All right, hi everyone, we've got some new and exciting news from the community. Ubisoft have released Mixer, which is a new multi-user tool slash add-on for Blender, which works on both local networks and remotely. It was made by the Ubisoft Animation Studio, and they've kindly decided to share the code with the rest of the community. And yes, it's of course distributed with the GPL license, which means it's open source and free to use, but any derivative work should also adopt the same license. There was already a multi-user tool for Blender that's still receiving updates, literally just called multi-user, so if you're interested in working on the same scene with other people, then you have a couple of options available to you. Although personally, I haven't had the opportunity to test or compare the differences between these two tools, but that would be interesting to know about, so if anyone watching this has spent some time with both of them, then feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. And just to remind people, Ubisoft is a member of the Burner Development Fund. They joined back in July 2019 as a corporate gold member, Back then, it was even stated that not only will Ubisoft help funding online support for Blender developers, Ubisoft Animation Studio, a department of Ubisoft Film and Television, will also use Blender for their productions and assign developers to contribute to Blender's open source projects. So them being generous enough to share the work they've done with the community is a good sign, and here's to hoping they continue. So moving on, Master Zeon, otherwise known as Jerry Perkins, commander of the Hard Ops and Box Cutter add-ons, has created an impressive and daunting 8-hour video providing a complete overview of Hard Ops. To be specific, it's 8 hours, 15 minutes and 18 seconds. The entire video is timestamped with chapters as well, so it's easy to find the exact piece of information you're looking for. I don't think I've ever seen a video with so many chapters, but it's great to have all of this information in one place. And for those of you that don't know, Hard Ops is a toolset for speeding up hard surface modeling. Of course, it can do many things, which branches into all different fields of modeling, but it's got a particular emphasis on hard surface, hence the name. One of the main issues preventing people from learning how to use Hard Ops was understanding strange naming conventions and actually finding material that explains step by step what everything does, especially since it keeps being updated. But this issue of onboarding people to the Hard Ops toolset is now being resolved, thanks to the likes of Josh Gambrel alongside Ryu. And now, of course, Master Zeon's own overview. So if you're interested in learning more about how to use the tool, or if you haven't picked it up, but you're interested in seeing what it can and can't do, then I highly recommend having a skim through the video. I don't expect you to sit through the whole eight hours, but it's good for you to know that the information is right there if and when you need it. And if you're interested in picking up the add-on at any point, then I will leave my affiliate links in the description. Next up, Pure Ref has been updated, which I'm very happy to see. And for anyone that doesn't know what Pure Ref is, it's an infinite canvas tool, primarily designed to act as a reference board. So if you're doing artwork, you can throw around all of your references into a Pure Ref file, zoom in and out, pan around. The image files can also be embedded or linked externally, so it's quite portable and easy to share. If you've been watching me for a while, you may have seen it being used in some of the previous videos. This new version adds a transform gizmo, which helps you to organize the images. This was always a bit tricky before, because you would have to memorize individual shortcuts to rotate and scale the image. There's also a new slideshow feature which you can start with Alt-S. Auto-saving has also been made smoother and there's a collection of other tweaks and fixes. So if you've been looking for a reference board tool, or if you're already using Pure Ref, then make sure to go and grab their update. I'm personally very glad to see them adding new features because I've been using it very frequently over the past few years. Alright, now we have Face Builder from Keen Tools, which has also received a new update. Face Builder lets you create a 3D model of a human head, including textures, just from a series of photos and a handy interface. CG Matter and Ask NK have both done good videos on it in the past, but they've just come out with a new update that lets you use photos with various focal lengths. I should say here that I'm not sponsored by Keen Tools, so they're not paying me anything to talk about the software, but they have offered me a copy of the tool just to take a look at. I think there's a lot of people out there that would find it useful. In fact, I think something similar to this would be a very welcome addition in the core version of Blender by itself. They have an official video demonstrating the new version on their website, where they take images of someone from the internet and build a face around it, which was cool to see in action. The main downside, however, is the expensive pricing of the software. They have a series of different tools and licenses, but the personal version of Face Builder alone is $149, which is way out of the acceptable price range for most beginners. But with that being said, the tool looks like it's quite good at what it advertises, all things considered. Creating a model of a face from an image is not a simple task, however I expect some AI and deep learning developers will be jumping into the same field in the not too distant future. We've already seen tools that can create fairly accurate 3D models of humans from a single video clip, so it really shouldn't be that much time until someone develops a lower cost alternative for facial construction. If that happens, it will be interesting to see how Keen Tools adapts their tool set and business model, but overall I think it's a company that's worth keeping an eye on. Alright, last up there seems to be a new remesher tool on the scene, made by Jeremy Hugh, who is also the developer of Dust3D, which is another open source modeling tool which has also received a mega grant from Epic. 
you might find that interesting to investigate, because it's based around a different workflow for building models from reference imagery. But anyway, if you want to take a look at the new remeshing tool, then I will leave a link to an interesting Blender artist thread where people have been comparing results with other remeshes like Quadraflow. I think there's definitely a large demand for anything to help speed up the tedium of retopology and mesh cleaning, so any new tools, especially open source, are welcome. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. Hopefully you found some of these things interesting. Make sure to share your thoughts and any new developments in the community in the comments below. Remember you can follow me on social media or join our Discord server to take part in discussions, share your work and get sneak previews of upcoming projects. So thanks for watching, I hope you're staying safe, and I'll see you next time.